<laughs> and grandma used to have to go to show Friday night, so they like me, it was okay. It was okay, but after Saturday night, uh, grandma came back. You know, she came back. The other woman used to come back on Sunday. So it was okay. Well, then, <laughs> time marched on. I had a baby already. He was a gorgeous baby. It was a gorgeous thing. And, uh, a year after that, I had another one. And uh, a year after that, I had another one. That was first Bunny. Bunny. And then May. And then Doris. But, uh, and after this, but after Doris was 13 years. Oh, was it, oh I didn't realize it was that long. Huh? No? I didn't realize it was that many years between Doris and Max. So. Yeah. A good many years between Doris and Max. So, it was all right. In the meantime, I got, uh, uh, I got thyroid, I had a little thyroid trouble, and uh, I used to doctor for that. I got very nervous with the three children, and the nervousness caused a thyroid, or a thyroid caused uh, cause of uh, the nervousness. And, but anyway, doctor, the doctor said to me, you're having children too close, too close, he said. He says, two years is plenty to have a child, in between two years, about a year. I said, well, you're my doctor, so why don't you tell me how I can take care of myself, you know. He said, I have to tell you, I'd lose my practice. <laughs> That's what he told me. I'm doing it. Well, it happens that uh, it was uh, after after that I got rid of it. I didn't have no more children, you know, for a while. And I had the uh, oh, thyroid went away. So, yeah, it went away, left me, and from that time on, I haven't had any thyroid trouble. Oh, I nervous. Now I go to the doctor. He says you got a nervous stomach. I says I have no nervous stomach. Don't tell me I've got nerves. I, I haven't got a thick nerve in my body. I haven't. I'm not nervous. I'm very strong. I think I'm strong to hold up the way I do. Because all right, you got a heart condition. You, you get scared. You, you. No. I ain't got an acre of pain. I got a pain in my knees. I get up. I sit, sit on a hard chair. Goes away. <laughs> I take two buffering, it goes away. I get a backache. Oh, I got a muscle backache. And a half an hour's gone. I'm sure I need a doctor to take his medicine when he gives me one medicine on top of the other. I didn't have a doctor for a whole year and didn't have a doctor. I couldn't get a doctor. My doctor retired. Had no more office. Dr. Chasen in Buffalo, he retired. No more office. And he's a young man. I heard he was a sick man. I didn't know. But anyway, I, he was my doctor. And I couldn't get another doctor. They wouldn't take him. They had enough of their own. And they couldn't take any new patients. Finally, 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 I got somebody. I went to him about uh, three, four weeks ago. And he, um, he had been to visit me once. When Dr. Chasen was away, he put him in charge. And I got this dizziness like market, and I called him in. And uh, he sat at the edge of the bed, he was very nice. So here I called him, I called up and asked if I could, if he could take me as a patient. And they said yes. I had an appointment with him and I went. And, uh, and the minute he saw me, he said, hello, Mrs. How are you? I said, well, if I was well, I wouldn't come here. <laughs> I want to know what's wrong with me. Hey, Grant, there's something. <laughs> last time you were here last year, you were telling us about some of the family. And I started to write this down, but I'm a little confused. Simon Joseph Kuzinski married Marion Ruff, R-O-U-F-F. That was his wife, my mother. That was my own. That was your first mother? Yes. And both of, they were, both of them were born in Kodo, 
Kolo. K O L O. K O L O. Kolo Poland. Yeah. That was your 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 mother but and your father. That's where they belong. The whole school had belonged to Kolo. And also, Harry Bennett, your husband, he was born in Kolo. That's right. Poland. That's right. The whole family was born there. When did the Kuczynskis move to Leeds? The Kuczynskis. Yeah. My father's my father's name was Simon Joseph Kuczynski. Yeah. See that? When did he move to Leeds? When when he got married in Poland to, to Miriam. Uh, Miriam. To Miriam. When he got married, they left right away because he was supposed to be a soldier. In the Cossack army or something? Yes, in the Russian army. And he came away and he went away. That's how he came to London. Did he have family in London at the time in Leeds? Uh, there was somebody in London, some lunch lights, and then he came to Leeds. But he was sort of the first one in the village then to leave? Your father? Oh Out of no, Colo? he lived there all his life. Even after I came here, he died no, no, in Leeds. Was, was your father one of the first to leave Colo, Poland? Uh, the one of the first ones to leave uh, Poland? Yes, I guess so. And then he and, and, and your then, mother and the, left, and then the rest of them came eventually. They both came because they were just married. Yeah. And but they then came. the Bennetts also and came. The Bennetts came uh, later. And then Harry, when did Harry go to the United States? But Harry came to the United States in 19... Uh, he became a citizen in 22. What's five years before? 17, 7, 1917. Something like that. How old was he when he came? When he came, it must have been. Well, he was uh, three, uh, four years older than I. Well, I was 21, and he was four years older. 25. He was 25. Okay. So he had he had come with his family though his family moved from Leeds to the states and then they sent for you and and you came over alone and then married him how long afterwards who how long afterwards when you got to the states a month a month a month, a month. I came Labor Day and I was married the fifth of November were you have relatives in Pennsylvania or Erie or something yes Abram Bennett lived in Erie Pennsylvania that's your brother. My husband's brother. Oh. He was a Bennett. I see. And they're still living there? No. He passed away and his wife passed away. Well, you had some, some people you visit. Well, who are the people that you visit in the area now? Who's Bertie? What relation is Bertie to you? Bertie's in Youngstown. Youngstown. Oh. Now, Bertie's father was from, from Grandma's husband. Now, Grandma married a man with three children. Grandma. Grandma Bennett. Your grandma Bennett. So you're my grandma Bennett. Who's grandma? Your, your grandma great Bennett. grandma. Great grandma right Bennett. Grandma? Harry's mother. That's her mother-in-law. It was <laughs> so my mother-in-law, mother my grandmother. <laughs> grandma Bennett married a man with three children. One was Aaron. One was Eva, who lived in London. And, and 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 Aaron went to London went to London from London he came to America that was Bertie Bertie Idleman's father he got married in London Aaron Aaron uh, Aaron uh, Aaron Bennett Barnett used to call him Barnett in the old country Barnett That's right. Yeah. So a mere mix-up. So you had your children, and, and in Buffalo still is, is a bunny with, uh, what, he's got a son. And a daughter. And a daughter. got a son and a daughter. And she's married, isn't she? Who? Bunny's daughter? Bunny's daughter's married and divorced. Did she get divorced? I didn't know she got divorced. Yeah. Bunny's Barbara? Barbara? Uh, 
She was aboard shortly after I was. Who was Bunny named after? Uh, old man, Grandma's husband, Hambea. And Sonny Bennett here is Mary, is, has got the same name. And and I'm named after your real mother. My real mother. That's the and only Doris is named after, after and Dora, 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 who was uh, Lil and Lil's mother. mother. Who's Max named after? Max is named after a good rabbi. Named after Rabbi. From Temple Beth Al. Yeah. Rabbi. I. 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 Eichler. 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 Just the good we, friend of yours. We used to go to Sunday school there, all of us. Oh. And he was a, he was just a grand person. He was swell. And yeah. when he died. We didn't know who to name him, and Maxie was born, we didn't know who to name him after Bunny said, name him after the rabbi, Eichler. So I did. But he had several names. He had, uh, uh, he had, uh, oh, a bunch. He had three, four names. And we picked uh, Maxwell. Now Larry is named after... My grandfather. My grandfather. My father's father. And and his middle name? He didn't have a middle name. He's named after my my, my father's uh, father. Who? Oh, Larry? The, the middle name. Oh, the middle name. It would be your grandfather. Yeah, be my grandfather. Your grandfather and, and your grandfather. My grandfather was uh, Life. My the, other one, the other one was Dumas. So he's named after Dumas. Well, oh, I Dumas see. Dumas Lane is, is your uh, right. name. And our Alan was named after Aaron. Was that from uh, from Uncle Aaron from yeah. uh, from Erie or Sharon? Yeah, I don't remember. He's, he's named after oh, Uncle Aaron. Oh, from, I see. From uh, Sharksville or uh, Youngstown. Youngstown, and. And Jay Yonkel is after, after my uncle, an uncle of yours. Jay, oh, Alan's good Alan and Jay. Alan yeah. Oh. And and Lois is uh, Arlene is named after the Mi Mahana on your side. Mahana. Where does Lois come the from? The that raised Mary. And where does Lois come from? Leia. Lottie. Who's Lottie? Your grandma. Grandma. Grandma, grandma Bennett. Oh, that's very interesting. It really is. Okay, Dad, it's your turn. Your side. Somebody asked me Grandma's name. You know, they put on her gravestone. They put. Uh, Anna, wasn't it? Anna. Anna. Her, uh, do you know what they put on her gravestone? Uh, Anna, wasn't it? And her name was Lolly. Lutka. Lutka. Her Polish name was Lutka. This is a this is an old lady. She used to wear a shaitel all her life. A heavy jet black long wig. You know, it's part of the middle and straight back in and out. And I was a big girl and I had never seen her without the shaitel. When she went to the old folks home to live, she wasn't the thing was so heavy she couldn't stand it anymore. And when I saw her for the first time without that thing, her hair was as white mm. as snow. A milk white, most gorgeous hair. Silk, Flat like blonde. silk. Yeah, just like silk. Just pure and white. She had a mind on her. She could, she could talk a word of English. Well, how old did she live to? 101. Well, she lived way past 90. Well, longevity runs in your family. How old are you now? 83. You're 83. You'll be 84 this week. I'll be 84 this, this week. week. No, the 12th. On the 3rd. Today's December 29th, 1973. Today's the 30th. Today's, today's December 30th, 1973. Yeah. And your birthday is next week? January what? 3rd. January 3rd, you'll be 84 years old. 84. My father lived a good old age. My own mother didn't. Yeah. My stepmother lived a good old age. My father lived a good old age. How old was your dad when he died? He was uh, in his 90s. Is oh, that right? Yeah. How old was, was uh, Harry when he died? 
grandfather. Harry was in his 60s, I think. Well, he's a young man, but still was a different story. But now, Auntie Miriam, how old was she when she died? She was 92. How old was Abram? Abram wasn't uh, too old. He wasn't too old. Well, he was in his 70s, wasn't he? At least. Well, uh, 70 isn't old for that. Not, not, not today, today, but then it was. Huh? Years ago it was. Well, uh, well, he's been dead a good many years. But uh, Aunt Miriam just died. It's only been a few years that she's been yeah. gone. Yeah. She was 92. And you never saw in all your life she was a big husky woman. She shriveled up. I think she was that big. Her, her face was like a doll's face. The last I saw her. The last I saw her when Esther was in, in Buffalo and she was in a home. And uh, uh, I went to see her. Esther wanted to see Grandma. 